Hey you guys, in this video I'm going to be doing a get ready with me and spilling all the tea about my experience getting the Pfizer vaccine. Okay you guys, so I got my first dose on January 29th, um, 2021 and I got my second dose of Pfizer on March 19th, 2021. So when i first got there this was during the time when um you can only you could only get the shot if you were a front were a healthcare worker okay front facing or forward facing whatever they like to call it you can only get the shot if you were a healthcare worker i entered the building um, there was a security officer. He was checking everyone's ID and everything like that um, to, you know, sh to prove that you are a healthcare worker. He asked to see my ID. So I took out my school ID and I took out my driver's license. Um, when I took out my school ID, it said my the name of my school. And I told him that I was a nursing student and he looked at my ID and said, well, usually if you're a nursing student, it says nursing student on your ID. At my school, it doesn't say nursing student on the ID. It just has your photo. It says student, and then it says um, the name of the college and your student ID number. He asked me to stand at the wall. Uh-uh, I'm not standing at the wall during Black History Month, sis. So I said, okay. Um, I stood at the wall, and then he proceeded to take... Um, everyone in line that after process me. took about 20 minutes so i was standing at the wall for like 20 minutes you guys he went to get one of the nurses that worked there and she asked me to show proof that i was a student nurse so i showed her my id and then I showed her the email from my professor telling us about um, where we could get the vaccines and stuff. And then afterwards, um, I showed her my schedule for clinical. She said it didn't say X hospital name on it. So I had to pull up an email that said X hospital name on it so this entire process took me about I want to say 35 minutes just to check in you guys 35 minutes just to check in um now I say all of this because I don't want you guys to um show up to get your vaccine and you cannot get your vaccine because, you know, you don't have the proper documentation or, you know, whatever the case might be. They was definitely being ignorant, sis, but okay. When you show up, have your ID, have, if you are a healthcare worker, have something that says you are a healthcare worker. Whatever documentation that they require, make sure you have it before you go. You can check the website to see what kind of documentation that they require before you go. So make sure you have it when you go. Now, moving on. Okay, so after I checked in with the security officer at the front, I had to um, follow like the yellow dots that were on the floor. I followed those, <laughs> followed the yellow brick road. Mm -mm, sis that's not it <laughs> that was corny sorry um so i had to follow the yellow dots on the floor i followed those and i went to check in with the lady that was there she gave me a card like a small card w on the card i had to write my last name first name middle initial date of birth and 
I think that's it. I'm not sure. Let me grab it. She gave me the COVID-19 vaccination record card. That's what I'm looking at. I'm just not um, showing you guys because I'm not going to put my entire information out there. But pretty much it is a small card. I wrote my uh, last name, first name, middle initial, date of birth. And then she wrote the patient number for me. Um... And then she highlighted the vaccine, the product name slash manufacturer, and the lot number, uh, the date, and then the clinic site. So that's all the information that is on that small card. You guys, when you receive that small card, just make sure that you... Um, make sure that you keep it you can take a picture of it using the genius scan app so that way um it's always in your phone the genius scan app turns your photos into pdf you can also just take a um regular photo of it um you can keep the card you can laminate it but this card is going to be your proof that you got your shot the shot did not hurt um i don't know if i was expecting it to hurt i don't really under i don't really know what i was expecting you guys but um the shot did not hurt it did not the lady was really nice she told me like okay we're gonna do the shot now uh, asked me if I had any allergic reactions. You guys, they're really serious about those allergic reactions. If you guys have gotten any vaccine within the past uh, 14 days, I think. Yeah, 14 days. If you guys have gotten a vaccine within the past 14 days, you are not allowed to have a COVID vaccine. Um, and if you've had an allergic reaction to any vaccine before then you have to wait half an hour because they don't want you to go home and then like have an allergic reaction at home and no one's there to help I'm you applying this uh liquid magnet eyeliner can you guys see i don't know Oh, done poked yourself in the eye. Clearly, I don't know what I'm doing. The volunteers in the observation area watched me for 15 minutes, and then I was allowed to go home. Side effects, right? So before I get into this, I want to let you guys know that the most common side effect is pain at the injection site fever and they recommend that you take a tylenol i'm just going to talk about my reaction keep in mind that everyone is different so this is just my experience and my reaction to the vaccine my side effects when I got home was a little bit different. I did not have any side effects the day of. Um, but the a few days after I got my vaccine, that's when I started getting side effects. My arm was really sore. It felt kind of like, just like stiff. I tried to move it around. It really hurt when I moved it around, but I didn't want to baby it. I didn't want to keep it stiff. I wanted to move it around. I started having like really bad back pain. I decided to take some pain medication for it. They recommend Tylenol. I took a cat's claw because it's natural and it works for me. I didn't have any side effects to my second vaccine, you guys, besides a sore arm. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell while you're there so you don't miss another melanin drop. Okay, you guys? I love you guys. See you in the next video.